Now, I've never actually played hockey, but I'm pretty sure that punching one of the on-ice officials isn't part of the rulebook. If it was, players would be dropping the gloves with the referees all the time. Or perhaps even licking them, if you're Brad Marchand. Oh, I've got a spot on my face? I don't want to go through puberty again. It's bad enough the first time. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. The majority of you guys that watched my previous reaction slash commentary style video seem to really enjoy it, which is great. Thank you so much, guys. So I figured, why not make another one? What's the worst that can happen? What, I embarrass myself? <laughs> Have you seen this channel? I embarrass myself every single day on this channel. It's kind of my thing. I might say I'm a bit of an expert on it too. But anyway, the rather crazy news we are talking about today comes out of Russia's KHL. Glory to the motherland! and is explained in an article from secondcityhockey.com, titled, KHL suspends Blackhawks prospect Arta Kayamov 13 games for headshot punching official. So the fella didn't just punch an official, he headshotted a player too. Wow, this guy's been busy, hasn't he? No wonder this guy got 13 games. I mean, he's he's a rebel, isn't he? God, he's he's bad to the bone, this man. Ha! Huh. I mean, he makes Tom Wilson look like nothing in comparison. And that's a difficult thing to do, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Kayamov also has to pay a fine worth approximately $6,000 too. Yeah, because cause that'll teach him right, guys. You gotta hit him where it hurts the most, in the bank balance. I mean, the fact that he's paying $6,000 is a small fraction of what he's earning for the entire season, and paying that amount of money won't really deter him from doing it again, because lots of players do this and pay the fines, and they always go on to do something else, but yeah, you show them, guys, great job. So, as you can see in this video that the KHL provided of the incident, Kayamov, who is in his first full KHL season with Lokomotiv Yaroslav, drove Jokeritz Jesper Jensen head first into the boards during a game this Friday just passed. Jokeritz Maki Tomi then went after Kayamov, who proceeded to punch a referee in the face that was trying to break up the scuffle. Yeah, screw that referee! That's what you get when you do your job correctly and call a legitimate check to the head penalty. Just, just give him a smack in the kisser and put the fear of God into him. That'll teach him to do his job properly and make correct calls and be a solid referee in future. Yeah, that'll show him. I mean, come on, Kayamov. Was that your thought process there? Because that's stupid. You are a stupid person if you thought that was going to work. Give credit where credit is due, though, he did give the referee a proper punch in the face. I mean, he could have gone all Alexander Bongo Drum Semin on the guy, but he didn't, and I respect that. Never, ever go full Bongo, kids. If you don't die of embarrassment, everyone else will. But more importantly, what an absolute hero this referee was. To just be doing his job like he does every single day in every single game, and to suffer a punch in the face for it, even though none of the events that happened were anything to do with him, is the ultimate sacrifice of a man of his occupation. Not all heroes wear capes, ladies and gentlemen. Some of them wear stripy uniforms. Kayamov, 20, even tried to pump up the crowd as he was escorted off the ice by another referee. Nothing says getting the crowd into a game and pumping up the fans like committing not one, but two illegal penalties, am I right, guys? Yeah! Make some noise, fans! I can't take to the ice in a game for another month, but yeah, make some noise! I'm the best, aren't I? I'm the greatest! No, Kayamov, you're not the best. You're quite far from it. Now, according to Chunklet's Hockey, that's a name and a half, isn't it? Can we just take a moment to appreciate that somebody somewhere came up with that name? <laughs> oh. Okay, moving on. He received one game due to committing two game misconduct penalties in one game. Four games were from the check to the head on Jokeritz Jesper Jensen. And the final eight games come from injuring an official. Now, in all seriousness, what Kayamov did is absolutely awful. And he is very much worthy of a suspension like this. To be honest, I wouldn't have been surprised if the KHL had set the suspension even higher to maybe 15 or 20 games, because what he did is absolutely disgraceful. 
To hit a guy from behind and send him head first into the boards is bad enough. That's definitely worthy of a suspension. But to then go and punch an official who is trying to stop the game from turning into a line brawl is absolutely disgraceful. You just can't do that. Sure, you could maybe argue that the punch that Kayamov threw was intended for the Joker at player that was trying to engage with him, that the referee was keeping away from him. But he still went pretty hard with that punch that hit the referee. He proper whacked the guy in the face. I don't think he, he really cared who the punch went for. He just wanted to throw a punch. I'm sure that there are many players out there that have wanted to punch a referee in a game before. But you know what? They don't do it. Because funnily enough, it's against the rules. I would have thought that this is one of the first things you learn when you start playing hockey, as it's one of those boundaries that you never cross. Under no circumstance do you ever touch or attempt to harm a referee, no matter how annoyed you are at them. It's just not right. And besides, I'm sure there are plenty of referees that would like to punch players too. But you know what? They don't do that either. Because, funnily enough, it's against the rules. It works both ways, guys. The referees don't hurt you, and you don't hurt the referees. It's really simple. It's so basic, and I can't understand how a player in the second highest hockey league in the world still hasn't grasped that. So, ladies and gentlemen, the moral of the story is this. Whilst tempers are bound to flare up in a high-intensity, high-speed sport like hockey, whatever you do, don't hit a referee or any other official. Because ultimately, the only person that's going to miss out or have anything negative happen to them is always going to be you. Oh, and also, never go full bongo. You'll thank me later. And with that sage advice, I am going to end this video here. What do you think about the Kayamov suspension? Was it not long enough? Too long? Or do you think the KHL got this one right? Also, if you have any more feedback for this style of video, do let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. A big thank you to Chris Gadsby and Max Artis for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of any future videos, make sure you head over to patreon.com oddmanrush and become a patron today.